Hey folks, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and today we're taking a look at two knives. We're taking a look at a folding knife with a frame lock and a fixed blade. These couldn't be more different, could they? But they're both from the same brand, and they can only be purchased in Canada at Canadian Tire Stores. And um, they are budget priced, and they're often on sale, you know, 60, 70, sometimes 80% off. And so I want to go over these uh, since it's getting close to Christmas time. I think these will go on sale again pretty soon. These were on sale uh, about uh, three or four weeks ago, and they should be on sale again soon because uh, that's how Canadian Tire rolls. This will not be an in-depth review, but I'll give you a good enough perspective to help you decide uh, if you want to buy these or not for yourself or for a gift for somebody. At least that's my goal. So stick around. They're coming to you right now. First, we'll take a look at this. Uh, this is one of the Hunt Shield knives, as they both are. This one's called the Hunt Shield EDC Folder. It's made with 440 stainless steel, as is this knife, uh, more commonly referred to as 440A. So those two are the same thing. If you see 440 or 440A, it's the same steel. Um, or it's known as SUS44000. This is a frame lock, stainless steel uh, frame lock tip down pocket clip on uh, the pivot side here and it's that's the only spot you can have the pocket clip but it's a really deep carry and I don't mind tip down pocket clips at all and I've made a video explaining why uh, both these knives have the same kind of black um, coating on the blade this one's on the hollow grind here and this one's on the flats so they're both uh, hollow grind blades uh, this one's a nail nick deployment uh, so you can just pinch and deploy the blade, or you can put your nail in that little cutout and deploy the blade that way. We've got uh, white nylon washers on both sides of uh, the blade here. G10, that's got a pretty good grip on it, and the side stainless steel. A couple of things I really like about this knife is I like the flush screws on here. And I like the size to the weight ratio. It's a light knife, 73 grams, 2.6 ounces. You've got a blade that's um, 2.7 inches. The cutting edge is 2.7 inches. That's uh, 6.87 centimeters. So that's good enough. So it's under three inch blade. And uh, you've got a little bit of jimping on the re release there for the frame lock. A little bit of jimping here on the handle. A little bit of jimping where your thumb goes. You get a really good hold on this knife. It's a little small for me. My hands are between large and extra large for men's. Uh, so this is, you know, a good knife size for most women and most men that have medium sized hands or small hands, or, you know, you're just into the, barely into the large range. It would fit comfortably, but I cut a number of things with this and I had good control. See how my pinky is just on there. So not bad at all. This to me is a good glove box knife or uh, you know, some kind of emergency getaway knife or something for the person who doesn't, isn't really into knives, but, you know, they should have a knife. And this is better than nothing. 448, uh, the Rockwell hardness on that goes to around 58. It's probably more commonly 57 under most manufacturers. And that's not a slouch. That's not a bad hardness uh, for a knife edge. It's not super durable, but it's not crazy hard to sharpen either. So it's got that trade off for that steel. Uh, the thickness of this blade here is 2.74 millimeters, which is 0 0.108 inches. So, you know, a well under an eighth of an inch, but, you know, not too much under. It, it, for the size of the blade, it's not bad at all. We've got a swedge there. We've got a point that's uh, really good for doing delicate work. Uh, you know, a long flat section here. And I like hollow grinds. The sharpness trial is not bad. The texture on here is it provides a good grip. Uh, the pivot pin is not free spinning. That, that's good. And uh, you, know, you can even undo the screw for the uh, to take the knife apart if you've got a long straight screw head Torx that fits in there. Otherwise, use the T6s or is that T8? Let me double check that. I've got a T8 handy right here. 
Yeah, that's going to be T6. And the body screws too. T6 all around, even the pivot screw there. And uh, there's no skeletonizing in there or anything. It's just a nice, decent light knife that cuts fairly well. And uh, doesn't look bad. You know, would I like a tip-up pocket clip? Sure, but I don't mind tip down either. This sells full price, $14.99 at Canadian Tire. So when it's on sale, like I bought mine, um, it was, I think, $7, you know, or five, six something. It was more than 50% off. I don't remember exactly. I think it was 60% off when I got mine a few weeks ago. So that's a decent, reasonable knife, especially when it's on sale. You know, Canadian Tire is all over Canada, so decent knife. Uh, there is a knife that I like better. That's from Canadian Tire. Uh, has the same steel. It's a little bit bigger than this, like if you want a folding locking knife, I mean. And um, I'll show you a picture of it with the name. And uh, if that one goes on sale, I would recommend that one over this. But if you want something smaller, you know, then you've got this guy. Um, I also will have links down below so you can get them from Canadian Tire very easily so you can find them uh, and their part numbers listed as well on the screen and below. Now this guy, they've got a number of different hunt shield knives. Um, they've got even cheaper knives at Canadian Tire. They're outbound series. They're cheaper in price and cheaper in quality. Their hunt shield knives, you know, it's an okay quality. Uh, and they've got a bunch of different styles as well. They've got a few that are carbon steel that I've reviewed, and um, I just reviewed a, a large one that has 420, but most of these are um, 440. Uh, they've got a series where they've got pack of wood handles that I did. Those are AUS 8 steel, which is good as well. So a lot of the Hunt Shield ones I recommend when you buy them on sale. This guy's got, uh, you've got this one, or you've got one that's got a gut hook up here, and I don't recommend that. Again, uh, 440 steel. This guy is $49.99 and goes on sale for a significant sale, at least 50% off fairly regularly. This one's called the Hunt Shield Whitetail Hunter All-Purpose Knife. The blade thickness, that's over an eighth of an inch. It's uh, 3.68 millimeters, that's 0.145 inches. The uh, cutting edge is 10.23 centimeters, just over four inches. Uh, the G10 here, the length of that is uh, 10.8 centimeters, four and a quarter inches. Um, this thing weighs 199 grams, at seven ounces. You add this, it's 267 grams and 9.4 ounces together. The G10 is well made and quite comfortable. Um, I mean, I haven't tried to take the handle off. If the handle comes off reasonably well, I'll show you a picture of it with the handle off right now. And here's how the knife looks, you know, with the blade taken off, a handle taken off. There's no skeletonizing anything in here. You've got a big hole over here to strap on some lanyard or anything. It's a big enough surface here that you can use it, you know, to crush things if you need to or pound into things. A little bit of jimping up here for your thumb. It's got a little bit of a rise on the blade before you've got a slight drop point. Hollow grind. It's a little thick behind the grind. It's, it's like uh, 0.7 millimeters. I like to steel to be about 0.5, even 440A, you know, but not bad. Nice sharpness toil so that when you go to sharpen it, it's good. Big belly on the handle here, and it fits my hand extremely well. It's a very good fit. And again, I told you about the size of my hand already. So 440, not bad. I would like them to start using 440C. Now, my opinion is that uh, 440C and 440A are very close to the same price. Like for manufacturing these, it would make probably 50 cents or less difference per knife, even this much steel. At most, it's gonna cost them 50 cents more per knife to make this out of 440C. And so, if anybody from Hunt Shield is watching, any from Canadian Tire is watching, spend that tiny little bit more and make a much better knife. 440C is significantly better than 440A. Uh, and that's in anybody's opinion who is experienced with blade steel. 
Now, you can't just ask some hunters that are out there who've been, even if they've been hunting all their lives and using knives to cut stuff all their lives, that doesn't mean that they have experience with a variety of different steels and how good they are. You need to start asking people that are genuinely in the know about knives uh, to get those answers. I would suggest that you start contacting some knife reviewers, maybe myself, maybe some other ones, uh, Canadian knife reviewers. There's a few of us out there. Uh, there's Kevin Cleary in Ontario. He does a little bit higher end stuff and I do the budget stuff. And, you know, there's other ones as well. And get our opinions, please. Um, I'm totally happy to help you at no cost. Uh, I won't charge you a penny for any advice that I can give you guys. So the sheath, well, these leather sheaths by Canadian Tire, the Hunt Shield line, they're made fairly well. They're, they're nothing special, but it's genuine leather. Uh, you know, sewing is done, you know, fairly well. It's not super consistent stitching, but it's a machine stitch. And, uh, you know, there's a hole down here at the bottom if you want to tie a strap to your leg. Uh, there's no big drain hole here. Uh, that's just the point where the uh, leather came together. It would be nice if uh, there was a little bit of a drain hole here in case somebody was using this in the rain and water got in here so it could drain away. But, you know, anybody could drill a little hole at the bottom here and, and make that happen. I like that they're using snaps here instead of, you know, Velcro. That's a good thing. And uh, when the knife is in there, you know, the snap is in place, you know, that's a good hold on this knife. You know, it's not noisy, loose. I like that you can fit this on a huge belt. Yeah, it's a decent knife. And I suggest if anybody wants to buy these, definitely wait for the sale if you can. Uh, because the sales come around quite frequently. If you're not in Canada, you can't get these knives unless you ask me to buy it for you, maybe. And uh, I'd be happy to do that for you. I would charge you $5 per knife to go to myself. And, uh, you know, you pay all the rest of the expenses, the cost and the shipping and everything. But uh, I can't see all that many people wanting these unless you are some kind of, maybe you're a Canadian abroad somewhere and you want to have, you know, Canadian stuff. These are both made in China, so it's it has Canadian names on it, but it's really Chinese brand, uh, Chinese manufacturer. So there you go. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And if you check down below, there's a big, uh, not a big list, but there's a list of Hunt Shield knives, a playlist, if you want to see the other Hunt Shield knives that I've reviewed. Remember guys, always cut towards your chum. Not your thumb. Bye for now.